UFC 229 Fight Picks, Channel MMA with Jay, Channels the Fight Pick. All right, guys, we've come to a pretty easy one on paper, on paper. Tony Ferguson should be waxing on and waxing off with Anthony Pettis. He should be beating him into the canvas. Seriously. He should be all that Ninja Turtle shit he was talking about during the um, his interviews this week. All of that Ninja Turtle stuff. He should be d- using those Ninja Turtle moves on Anthony Pettis. Pettis is just, I think he's like, I don't know, two and six or something in his last. Pettis is here. He's fighting Tony Ferguson because of his name, not because of his current skill set. This should be an exhibition match for Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson should go in there first round and finish Anthony Pettis. Here's the problem with paper. You can ball it up. You can throw it in the trash. You can burn it. You can rip it to shreds. It's disposable. Anthony Pettis is bringing a really good skill set to this fight. And it may not seem like much, but Anthony Pettis is being one underestimated coming into this fight. I saw Tony Ferguson look at him on media day. He looked him up and down like this puny little twerp. This puny little twerp. Tony Ferguson is such a, you know, he's a cocky guy. He's got the whole swag thing going on. He's in his head, you know. So he was probably he was just looking at him like, oh, gosh, looked him up and down. So sometimes when you're underestimated, that's your best gift right there. Because we know that Pettis will wrap you up. When you get to the ground and you think you're about to get that Darce choke, Pettis will wrap you up. He'll wrap your neck up the same way. The same way that Ant- the same way that Tony Ferguson's arms are lethal on the ground, Anthony Pettis's legs are lethal on the ground. He'll put you in a triangle and squeeze until you are begging him, let me go, let me go. He's t- you're tapping out. You're giving up. Anthony Pettis, no joke, does bring a little something to this fight. He can scrap with you. He will strike with you. He doesn't, his hands aren't great, but uh, those feet, the kicks, everything. We're going to see an entertaining match. I'll tell you that. I think that it should be an exhibition match for Tony Ferguson. He should spark him in the first round, but do you think that's going to happen? Do you think it's actually going to happen? I don't. Now, you know, I said all of that to come to this point here. I want to pick Tony Ferguson by first round finish. I do. But I got to put a little bit more respect on your boy, Anthony Pettis. I really do. This guy, he does grit it out a little bit before he says uncle. He grits it out just a little bit before he's screaming uncle. I think that we're going to see a bit of a brawl, a bit of a scrap. And I think Tony Ferguson is going to finish Anthony Pettis in the third round. Some impressive shit. Have you ever seen those submissions, those third round submissions are impressive. Because you're sweaty, you're bloody, the choke can barely even hold on right because you're slippery. But I think we're going to see that from Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson, third round choke. Darce or rear naked. I think he's going to choke Anthony Pettis out. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Leave your fight picks in that comment section. I'm shouting out all the correct fight picks during all of my post-fight analysis, during the whole UFC 229. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm out.